In today's video, I am going to discuss about a very important relation or better to say a result between convergence of a net as well as compactness. And the theorem is like this. A topological space capital X is compact if and only if every net on X has a convergent subnet on X. In this video I am going to discuss about the proof of this result and this is a very important theorem. Now to prove this one we can start in this way. Let X be compact and suppose that we have a net say x lambda obviously that does not converge that means we are considering the method of contradiction that does not have any convergent subnet now it is already known to us most probably Actually, I am writing another statement here. You can try to prove this one also. Now we know a net x lambda has y belongs to x as a cluster point if and only if it has a subnet. converges to y. Now this is another well known theorem. You can try to prove this one also. And here we are taking the help of this result to prove the original one. So with the help of this criteria we can say so the net x lambda does not have any cluster point. That means for each x belonging to capital X, we can easily find out a suitable neighborhood. We can find a neighborhood, say that is denoted by ux of x. That means for every point belonging to x, we are trying to find out a neighborhood. And obviously associated, associated by means of an index and an index say lambda x such that x lambda is not a part of ux or in other words x lambda doesn't belongs to ux for every lambda greater or equal lambda x but as per our assumption x is compact And so we can say that there exist x1, x2, dot 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 xn belonging to capital X such that x can be written as union of uxi where i varies from 1 to n. Actually this is the criteria of subcover nothing else. Now we take any lambda greater or equal lambda x1 lambda x2 here x1 is in suffix dot 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 lambda xn then as per our construction x lambda doesn't belongs to x but this leads to a contradiction and hence we can say 
that definitely this net must have a convergent subnet and so the net x lambda must have a convergent subnet this is the first part now conversely we can say let every net on x has a convergent subnet on x so in this case we are trying to show that x is compact we have to show that capital X is compact so um, let us take a family say given by F of closed subsets say all those subsets are denoted by F i so family of closed subsets obviously i belongs to the index set capital I of closed subsets of X now we are assuming that this family will satisfy the finite intersection property so that's why I can write if we will satisfy the finite intersection property now I hope we can understand what is finite intersection property or you can write in abbreviated version as that is fi1 intersection fi2 intersection fi3 intersection and so on fin should not be equal to phi and this is true for every possible i1 i2 dot 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 i n belongs to index set capital I or you can say this is a finite subset of I capital I now let us show that intersection of F I is also not equals to phi where I belongs to capital I we define a net in the following manner say we are considering capital lambda in this way where we are taking i1 i2 dot 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 i n such that i1 i2 dot 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 i n all of them are parts of i as mentioned earlier and n belongs to capital n and we assign order capital lambda as lambda 1 is equals to i1 i2 dot 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 i n or better to say i k less equal lambda 2 actually directed to lambda 2 given by j1 j2 dot 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 j n if and only if that means this relation will be true if and only if i1 i2 dot 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 i k is a subset of j1 j2 dot 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 j n we are assigning this criteria then clearly it can be verified uh, 
verify to be a direction we can write this direction on lambda now as per our claim the family capital F has finite intersection property so we can say now as the family capital F has the finite intersection property so uh, we can say then for every lambda is equals to i1 i2 dot dot, dot i n belonging to capital lambda we can say we can find x lambda belongs to fi1 intersection fi2 intersection dot 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 fin now as per our hypothesis the net x lambda has a convergent subnet so we can write now by hypothesis the net x lambda has a convergent subnet say x lambda m that means there exists suitable x belonging to capital x such that x lambda m converges to x now we will show that x belonging to f i if we can prove this one then our task will be complete for all i belonging to capital i we fix some if i it can be anything hence there exists a suitable quantity m not uh, such that lambda m not may be related to i like this thus for every lambda m whatever we can define here every lambda m that is equals to i1 i2 dot 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 i m along with i must be related to lambda m not in this fashion which in turn must be directed with singleton i and we have that x lambda m belongs to f i 1 intersection f i 2 intersection dot 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 f i m sorry f i n it should be along with f i here it should be n along with f i which is a subset of f i so finally we can say since x lambda m converges to x as per our criteria and if i is closed then we can say x belongs to f i and consequently we can say that x must be compact so this completes the proof hence the proof this is a very important result and again i will say 
here I have used this one as a standard result to prove this theorem you can also try to prove this one also so prepare this theorem for your examination point of view it will be useful I hope so thank you